Hey, what's going on, players? One and two of every age. I'm Spider Nerd. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It's getting really hot here in Massachusetts. Uh, but pretty much as promised, uh, here is um, Adventure Time Card Wars uh, Kingdom, I guess. It's a mobile app developed by uh, Cartoon Network Games. I've always kind of wanted to play this game already, and it used to be $3.99. Um, up until about a month ago, still kind of wanting to go ahead and play uh, Teeny Titans, uh, just to decide that it just looks like a fantastic game too. Three ninety nine just seems a little steep for a pay as you go uh, kind of uh, game. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in and see what King Jake has to say. Hey, Jake, it's me, Jake. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn up the volume on this one. No, man! I'm you! From the Card Wars Kingdom! And I'm here to teach us how to play! Dude, we already know how to play Card Wars! Well, we've never seen Card Wars like this! So sit tight, and I'll show you the ropes! It basically comes down to this. It's all about the creatures. Build your team, send them to battle, and claim the glory that is rightfully yours! Use your creatures to defeat mine. If you knock out all of your opponent's creatures on the board, you win and become the cool guy. I started a game with Bimo, but he rage quit. So you can take over his team. These honeys here are your cards. You'll always draw a few random cards when you start the game. Tap the card to take a closer look. Now tap on the words. This business is important. You can always find out about special moves and powers by tapping the cards. There are many different creature elements in Card Wars. And there's very, very um, many forms of dialogue here, so I'm not going to be able to do my famous voice acting. Uh, I'm a little bummed out. Well, everybody knows that! Like Blue Plains, Sandy Lands, Useless Swamp, Nice Lands, and my personal fave, Corn! Speaking of corn, corn creatures have high attack points and do a ton of damage with drag attacks. Drag attack? Holy guacamole, what's that? Oh, a drag attack is just what it sounds like. Use your favorite finger to drag from your creature onto one of my creatures. You'll attack and spend some of your energy. <laughs> Every time you do a drag attack, you get a new card. Very cool. Cards allow you to cast spells, use abilities, and trigger larger attacks way better than drag attacks alone. Each creature has its own set of cards. When you attack with a creature, you'll draw one of its cards. It looks like you're out of energy. Press the button to end your turn. This is pretty much like Hearthstone for our World of Warcraft. Ah, oh, crud, not Archer Dan! Ooh, Archer Dan got scrunked. You won't be able to use him for the rest of this battle. But your other guys can still fight, so use them together to defeat my team. Each turn, your energy is refilled and grows by one, up to a max of ten. Let's bring in some backup. Drag that cool dog card onto the battlefield. Bust out a drag attack to draw a card. Oh, nice. That's a magic attack card. Play it on your cool dog and target my ancient scholar. Uh-oh, I'm 
gonna win on the next turn unless you do something big. Come on, baby. Jake needs something big. Oh, snaps! That's gonna do some crazy damage. Wow, loving the graphics so far. So this is playing, I'm playing this on an LG V10 smartphone. Pretty big uh, processor, that kind of stuff. But I would definitely recommend playing this on a tablet if you can. Not one of those like $50, $60 jobs from uh, Walmart or Target. You definitely want to get something with a decent processor and graphics card uh, uh, in order to get it up and running. Playing the... Uh, utmost efficiency as possible just through the fact that if you put this kind of game on a smaller type of uh, tablet you're probably going to be draining the battery life ridiculously uh, um, fast so we definitely don't want to have that happen all right so i have to just input my birth date you guys are going to see how old i really am so uh no no laughing too harshly Bonus points if you can do the math. So that was the tutorial for Card Wars. Hopefully if this loads fast enough, I'll be able to actually do a game with you guys and uh, see exactly uh, how bad I suck at this game. Come on, load faster. My ADD is kicking in. What's going on? I have no idea what deck I actually chose, but you know what? Actually, it looks like it was Candyland, so I'm going to go ahead and play that, see how that deck, uh, um, how I favor that deck, actually. I mean, like, like Jake said, the corn deck is usually the way you want to go. Just so you know, you can 
tap on your creatures to see more info about them during the battle. Very cool. Bridging breath, remove thorns, defense up and shield. Cotton cutie. Ah, the kingdom of Jake Corey shall rule over all. You may as well give up now. Cotton eye bat, huh? Cotton eye go. <laughs> oh god, he's got a puppy. see myself having a difficult time <laughs> with the learning curve on this game. Man, my deck is so tricked out.
Guys, so that is Can I walk? Okay. Rank two also unlocks the tree fort. That's where you could add new creatures to your team. Take a look at the decks I showed you earlier. Choose the deck you want to play with, and it will be yours to keep. If you need more information, you can tap on the creatures to see more details. Exit the tree fort when you're ready. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into the team management there to figure out exactly what every card does and what kind of team I would like to go ahead and stick with. But as of right now, uh, guys, this will be Spider Nerd signing off. If you want to uh, keep seeing videos of Adventure Time Card Wars, definitely let me know in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Have yourself a great day, guys. Bye.